But teachers aren't doctors. And I don't love the idea of someone who's not qualified giving me medical treatment. So when I got a splinter in my butt from doing sit-ups on the gym floor, I decided I'd just wait until I got home to take care of it myself. The people who got hit the hardest by all these budget cuts were the janitorial staff, whose team went down from 10 to 3. And the worst part is that the janitors who lost their jobs got replaced by a tall robot vacuum that cleans the floors. The school bought a second-hand robot from a local grocery store. At first, some kids were uncomfortable being around a faceless machine, so the school put googly eyes on it to make it seem a little more human. But if you ask me, that makes it even creepier because it's always looking at you. Whirr. And I don't know if it's such a great idea to have a machine cleaning up after everyone, because now people just throw their trash on the floor since they know the robot will pick it up. It's not only the students, either. Teachers have been taking full advantage of having a cleaning robot in the school, and I'm pretty sure Mrs. Lackey has been bringing trash from home. I also think it was a mistake giving the robot eyes, because now it thinks it's a person. Lately, it's been skipping out on its job and going to class with all the other students, and yesterday, I'm pretty sure it was copying off my quiz in science. I just hope this thing doesn't get too smart, though, because it really wouldn't be good if machines started taking everyone's jobs. I mean, if machines take all the CEO jobs, I'll be stuck cleaning the floors. <laughs>